well. Time for a boss fight, I guess. Hello, and welcome back to Tricol Gaming. It's me, Dean. Back for another episode of Monster Sanctuary. There have been some developments in me playing this game over the stream, so we now have plenty of friends. We've got Sarcastically Inspired, or Sarcastically In. We've got our little Burb, we've got Kit, we've got Bob, we've got the Magma Slime. We've got all our friends. And today, as I showed a little bit of a uh, teaser for on the stream, we're going to be actually fighting this boss now that I've leveled up a bit. I'm prepared for the final test. Good. You shall show bravery, but this time you'll be not be facing a monster. A normal monster, even. Oh! It's like a little pot. It's adorable. I do not wish to skip. I wish to see this thing attack me. Oh god, it hurts. Okay. So the steam golem is level 6. Oh, I thought it was level 7. <laughs> uh, it takes increased damage from wind, resists fire, and attacks earth. So we'll take sarcastically inspired burb and follow it out. So remember from the other day that you cast your buffing moves before anything else. And then you can use everything to your ability. So I know I have a bunch of stats and now I can attack to do a lot of damage and chill. Ooh, very nice. But yeah, this is the first mini boss or boss of the game. But yeah, it's it shouldn't be too difficult because I'm a bit over leveled. It's got a little red aura of itself around it. It seems. Uh, Fever Storm. This thing's weak to air, and it seems to take two turns per. Yeah, it takes two turns per round. More attacks is good, so higher combos, so higher combo means more damage. Like that. Victory! Four stars. I get a shell, which gives me defense. I get the iron, which gives me come upgrade, and then potions and stuff. And levels. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore you're now a keeper asp aspirant. Asp Aspirant? I don't know. I don't do words. <laughs> uh, nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, will, won't you? Because there have been some things going on in Shining 3 that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions don't accept other monsters besides them or a keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anomaly, quite rare in nature. I am enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. Okay, so that's why it was a bit stronger. But your slimes are also monstrous. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I decided to deactivate it most of the time. Recently, Ranger Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the sanctuary. I regularly receive letters from Veromeal, hey, our burbs friends, from Rangers who are struck in distant reaches of the sanctuary fighting against champions. If it weren't for my old bones, I'll go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I trapped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you feel like you're up for the task. Mountain path key. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any more for monsters to fight. Thank you. This lesson is about feeding your monsters. Oh, apples. Potatoes. Uh, feeding your monsters also boosts your stats. Caring for your monsters this way will be vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster only profits from the last free foods that you give it. Oh, okay. So it has a memory. Like, good luck on your road to being monster keeper. Well then, you're a Keeper aspir Aspirant? No, no. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. That seems a bit benign. Who knows, maybe you'll be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. There's only some. There's always only one of those in a couple of lifetimes. We can try and keep care of the other champions right now, or we can go back to Keeper Stronghold Wars. The choice is yours. I kind of want to murder things. 
Sorry, just mid recording panic of am I actually recording? <laughs> but yeah, let's have a look at some of those things. We have crit damage, health, defense, and mana. So I'm going to give crit damage to Fallout. Mana, I think, will be good on Pharaoh and give him a defense one as well. Cool. If you're enjoying the series so far, and you want to see more Monster Sanctuary in the future, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, because that lets me know that I'm doing something that you guys enjoy. And yeah, just make sure to also subscribe so, uh, well, you get notifications of when we upload a new video, which we are trying to be better about. Well, by we, I mean I. I remember this locked door from before. And now we're in. Um, that looks strong. Eh. So it's a monk. It's defensive against air. Oh, we are so screwed. So it's defensive against air, but it does fire, wind, and air attacks. Choose monsters. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Bob, Rocky Road, and Fallout for this. Because I think armor breaking it first is needed. Um, and then making it weaker would be nice as well. This is a full debuff team I'm using here. Let's use Fallout first. It's a level 6. Okay, we should be fine. We'll use Fallout first to make Leaf Slash more powerful. But yeah, Poison's doing a nice bit of work and the defense... Oh, I should be using physical attacks, not magical. Uh, I'll heal that one. Rocky Road, even. Then we'll use Fallout to do a physical attack. And it's chilled! Even more destruction. And it didn't have enough mana to hit us with a attack that time. But yeah, let's heal Fallout. Uh, go from Fallout for more claws. And then we should hit it with one of our Leaf Slash for a bit more damage. And nice! Bob's Poison, finish it! And four! Nice! We get a plus one Badana, which is more crit rate and more mana. Upgrade materials and common stuff. No one's leveled up, but let's have a look at that equipment. Because, yes, Fallout has a plus one bandana, or uh, had a normal bandana already. So we're given upgraded equipment. Ooh, judge chest. That's a stain ring which has mana regeneration. We're gonna have to look into that later. Ooh, I nearly fell down. An ocarina. Um, mana plus 25. Healing skills active and passive increase by 10%. Now, Sarcastically Inspired has healing skills, but as does Bob. It was mana plus 25. So we'll switch that for whatever that was. So we now have a more effective Bob. And I don't have any fire units yet, so I can't touch the flame orb down there. But for now, we can head to the Keeper Sanctuary. Because that's a place we haven't been yet. Ooh. We've arrived back at the Keeper's Stronghold. The Stronghold has served as the base of operations for the Monster Keepers for centuries. We should explore some areas of the Monster Sanctuary next. The Blue Caves are located just below the Stronghold. Before we head there, you should prepare your monsters and yourself adequately. You can't find merchants or... You can find a merchant and a blacksmith in the stronghold to ensure that your monsters always have the best food and the best gear. If you're ever lost, make, make sure you go to the menu and use the talk feature. The talk feature allows you to ask me about your curator objectives. That's great. This is the Keeper Stronghold, home to all monster keepers. 
Welcome, Keeper Aspirant. Thank you. It's a Tengu. It's dub dub. Wait, what? What's it say? Oh, I can't talk to that one. Who's this? Here in the Keeper Stronghold, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. Why does that feel like foreshadowing? Anyway, oh, so it's a different area, so it's a different color, it seems. Usually champion monsters are very rare, but recently we've seen them in all regions of the sanctuary. Thank you, you just, we've just been told that. Ooh, chest, 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 chest. Money. We teamed a staff, which has a 7% ch crit chance, but only gives you a buff in magical. If it wasn't for that last part, I would give it to follow it. Hello, fellow keeper. Are you aware of the execution part of the rating system? Is how the execution part of the rating system is calculated? Uh, explain this to me, please. Execution is based on how well you use the combo system. Your first two monsters increase the rating if they manage to get that combo uh, a high combo point. The last monster increases the rating depending on how much damage they deal relative to the enemy's health. Also, you get increased points if you exploit an enemy's weakness. Okay, so we've been doing that passively anyway. Did you know that the duff Buff debuff rating not only counts towards how many buffs and debuffs you applied, it also grants additional points depending on how many often enemies took poison, burn, or conceal them. Congeal, congeal damage. My preferred strategy is to stay a bit defensive and let my debuffs do the work. Now I feel if I took the toad, that's that's how that playstyle would be. Is all about the debuffs. I'm going to grab this before I talk to you two. Hide. Oh, someone has that. I think it's sarcastically. No, it's not. Uh... Oh, it's a kid who has hide. Hide one. Yay! Utilizing the combo system properly is the key to getting a good combat rating. Do you need to remember how it works? No! I think the most important thing about Monster Keeper being a Monster Keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. If I could find the right diet for myself, I think I'd be more impressed. <laughs> Let's do more exploring. Oh, hello! I've always. Always think about having enough supplies, you never know when the dark times will be ahead of us. Again, very foreboding. Oh, hello. It's Julia. Hey, Ricky. Got your first monsters? Be careful, a lot of strong champion monsters being spotted recently. We know! The cause of all this hubbub is unclear, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Well, I'm glad you are, because I feel like I am going to have nothing to do with that story quest whatsoever. Definitely not. Never, never, never. Ooh! Checkpoint! And now I can teleport places! Woohoo! But I'm gonna to talk to you. Want to help strengthen the monsters the stronghold's monster army? You can donate your eggs you don't need to the stronghold. We'll raise them and train them here. You'll get a compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you will increase the monster's army strength for each additional egg you bring in. When the monster army reaches a certain strength, you'll earn special rewards. Um I have a few. Thank you, we'll have some and train the monsters. I get cotton, potato, and money. Cotton, potato, money. Cotton, potato, money. Walnut, small potion, money. Copper, small potion, money. Copper. It seems to be based on the monster type. Berry, cotton, money. Small antidote, copper, money. Small antidote, copper, money. Okay. And I've already put up to 200 and something. Thanks to your efforts, the total number of money has reached a total goal of 50. Here's some special rewards, Phoenix Tears. It's gone over 150, here's some special rewards, some gems, thanks here it's gone over 250. Level badge. Increase the monster level by one, can be used on monsters with at least two levels below your highest. Oh, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be very useful. Hello. This is the archive of the Keeper Stronghold. Centuries of monster sanctuary history is written down in all these books. Good to know. Hello, little girl. I like to read about the different monsters. So do I. In fact, I believe I have an ex I don't have one yet. Damn it. I want a journal. Oh, hello. Stylist. Hello, Monster Keeper. I like your style, but do you ever feel like changing it up? You can at least... You can at least let me switch up your colors. It won't make any change over time. You may find just different outfits in journey. You can change selection whenever you see an outfit's hidden. Also, some outfits I will only grant to those who are worthy. Let's say if you raise your keep rank to Monster Master. So what will it be today? Well, I think I... It changes my hair colour, which is upsetting. I know Fletcher probably wants me to pick this one. 
but I'm being black and stylish. Hey, what goes better than not fit the new name? Ah, uh, yes, you can let me change your name if you like. I'll make sure the Irish actually will catch up on the news in no time. Okay, that's a bit much. Wait, does this mean my hair is part of my outfit? Because he changed the color of my hair. That also means my. S We're not going to go that deep into it. Halt! The path leads to the eastern part of the sanctuary, the, monst the uh, stronghold dungeon, and the ancient woods. The monsters in this part are really beasts that are unlike nothing like the blobs and rockies of the Keeper's Trail. Come back once you've become our um, Keeper novice. Ah, brilliant. Oh, booze! And chests! Skill resetter. A keep. Oh, here are you. These are the blue caves. Our keepers report the spotted monsters down there. Cool, I'll go down there later. Uh, let's go up here. Because there's still a bit of the monster sanctuary I haven't gone to. To the left. Oh, hello. Smith, you're a rookie monster keeper, right? I am the blacksmith of monster armor and weapons. I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get started. Copper, cotton, red gem. Green gem, blue gem. Use these to upgrade your equipment. So what I'm going to do... Okay. So I'm going to upgrade the shuriken. I'm going to upgrade Pandora's box. Because it gives me an extra buff. And more defense. Anything which has a yellow outline is a unique item. Oh! That's awesome music. Keep trial access some rules here, keep the monster much You can't try to discover after rank one. You can defeat if you need to defeat one more champion to get to monster novice. Champion challenge, you can bribe previous champions. Cool. Don't want to do that right now. Wanna climb this tower? You need to be a monster novice for there. You need to be a keeper seeker for there. Teleport crystal. You need to be a online arena is keeper lancer, so this has an online feature to it. Burb, help me. I can't go above this point, oh well. But that is as far as we can go for the actual sanctuary itself, I guess. So I guess I'll be delving into the blue caves. Oh, it's Will! Hello, fellow keep Spectral Keeper. Ahem, I'm Will... He quit. Keeper of the Spectral Toe, and you must be Dean. Did you want... Did you hear the rumours? <laughs> they're, they're saying there's an unusual amount of champion monsters around. Mysterious, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome if you managed to hunt one down? I've hunted two down. It grants quite a bit of re respect and the keep. Perhaps I'll be able, to be able to discern the cause of the rise in champion monsters. Might be an unnatural phenomenon. I had my first monsters only recently, and though I've studied monsters for some years, and I'm still having troubles. I think we should support each other. The two other special keepers have an advantage on us. Leonard is quite a bit older, and he's already gathered some experience. Ah, that's the arrogant one. Julia started as a monster keeper at the very young age, so she's more experienced than us as well. Okay. They're both already keeper lancers, and we're just aspirants. That means that they're three ranks above us. But since there's so many more champions than usual, we might be able to catch up to them eventually. Here's this monster so here you. Don't worry, it's a spare one I got from my grandfather. You received the monster journal. You used the menu, menu to view it. My grandfather created these journals. They have quite a lot of empty pages, but these pages will be filled in as you collect new monsters. How? Has anyone questioned how? Oh, it's... Leonard. Hey, what you doing in here? It's dangerous in the blue caves. Don't you have a grasp on what's going on? I, Leonard of the... Nar... Narishim... Narishima? Yes. We'll take... Bloodline, we'll take care of the champion monsters. It's not the right task for some rookies. We will see. We will see indeed. Fool! Guys, can I have a cookie? Something tells me we should watch out for Will. Leonard, on the other hand, I hope you will surpass him in rank at some point. Wouldn't hurt his ego. Oh, thanks, Volo. You're a gem. And this is like the, um, this is what I was talking about in terms of the art that this game actually has. The wolf looks awesome. The spectral toad looks a bit derpy, actually. The, the spectral eagle and the lion look amazing. 
The blob is so cute. So is the magma pillar. And Rocky. Little Rocky Road. And the Vero is adorable. And the cat Zerker. Ah! The Yowie is just... I want to hug one. The Steam Golem is also adorable. And the Monk gives me the heebie-jeebies. But yes, there is a lot of monsters. And apparently there's an expansion coming out, which I did not know about. Thank you comment section for that one. But here is our first monster of this cave, the Tengu. And whatever the hell that is, a Grummy. So, water is strong against the Tengu and fire is weak, strong against the Gummy. Um, I only have one fire and I forgot to put it on. I'm amazing. This is my job. Uh, let's see if we can one hit kill one of these. Aww. Not yet. Oh great, the plant knows how to restore things. Excuse me, what? Um. That was a tad strong. Let's have you attack the healing thing. And then we can have Fallout kill the fire things. Which I double crit, which would have killed her, I think. Restore on yourself. Yes, be selfish. Oh, Flame Strike hits everyone. That's good to know. Murder everything. Uh, I can, I can kill with a crit, maybe. Nope, never mind. Explosions are fun. Very fun for my Yowie, who has so much health that it probably doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Let's use the claws. Nice crit damage on that. And it's poisoned me already. Great. Hit with extreme prejudice. Yeah! Got a blue gem and a smoke bomb. Smoke bombs are nice. So many levels up. Okay. So, Fallout skills... Um, I remember I said I needed to give him actual skills. Uh, I'll put this one on because his next level is going to be level 10 so I can give him Hunt. Burb! Burb has been especially useful. Crit damage, air sickle, we get you access to more crit damage, air affinity, and mana proc. Uh, I'm gonna unlock your wind tree, because I think this is gonna be a better one for you. And Bob. Oh, little Bob the Blob. Um, poison or acid? Uh, this gives full barrier, so it's another defensive stuff. While this one is... Hmm. Okay, so I'll go for... I'll go for Acid Rain, but I'll get mana upkeep next time and forego a level 10 buff. Oh, there's a door. I need a key. Ooh. And I have a bracelet. Plus one. He says, quickly going through to see if anyone else already has a bracelet so he doesn't need to think today. Yes! I don't need to think, I can just give it to Rocky Road, because Rocky Road's amazing. And this is a blue cave key. Huh, I can only wonder where I think that goes. And 
then I can use Vero to get my butt over here to get 250 G's. Thank you, Vero. Platforming! It's useful. That's never bunch of those enemies that I've just fought. Okay. Let's hope that's enough. Wait, where's the Tengu? Ah, there it is. Down I go, into the hole, into the hole I go. There we go. Not even close. Damn you, Tengu, you're blocking the edge there. Oh, there's a mushroom. Something, something, fungi. I got corn. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, I have corn. This tanker really wants me dead. Burp. Why do you hit me, Burp? Did I do something to you? That was a Qatar, which gives you more physical attack. Okay. Burp, you're probably going to drop me, but... Oh, you actually made the jump this time. And I got a ribbon. Plus, plus two? Does anyone have a ribbon? Because this will be a massive upgrade. No one has a ribbon. What does a ribbon do? Health and mana. By all rights, that should probably go to Sarcastically Inspired, then. Because it's better than the Vital Ring. Down I go. Uh, sure, I'll fight the mushrooms for you guys. They are called fungi. Oh wow, they actually are called fungi. Uh, cool. So let's cast regeneration first with Kit. Then power to make our attacks more strong. Nice. And then we can use fire claws on the other one. Nice amount of crit damage as well. And it decided to let it die. And then they both take damage. Cool. Uh, by the power of Everswarm, kill that thing. Please. So many hits. So much damage. I love it. Hit this thing with air damage, because air damage is nice and cool, and we can kill it with fire claws. Jeez, why don't I use kit more? I have a fungi egg! And I have to level up people as well, damn it. Actually, I'm gonna move this little guy into our team. Sadly, that means we're gonna say goodbye to Rocky Road for now. I'm sorry, I want to show off new monsters. This wall looks out of place to me. Never mind. Oh, this is a long fall. Oh, what's this way? More mushrooms. More fungi. But I get a vital ring plus one. I feel like I just give one of those to fungi. Oh, where does this go? It goes to another chest. Which is a vital ring plus two. Huh. I feel like I just give something to one of these people. Imagine giving something to a monster just to immediately upgrade it. Tango and Fungi. Oh, it's Leonard. 
Stand back and watch how a real keeper manages a wild monster. I want him to feel so badly. I've been doing that for a while, Leonard. Another glorious victory, haha. -ha. Leonard, get back here. We're not done yet. Because he's in charge of the lion, I keep calling him Leonard. And I probably should just stick to calling him Leonard instead of Leonard. Oh boy. Um, I'll go along for a bit longer so we have a bit more content. But yeah, let's just explore these blue cubes. Monk is a common monster. Uh, we've just defeated a champion monk. I will... Pharaoh, you... You are my enemy in this run, aren't you, Pharaoh? And that's a separate area. Okay, I get it. I'm not meant to go up there. Jeez. That's more monks. I... Touch them. I touched them. A few moments later. Chest, green gem. I got a blue cave key, yay! I can now unlock a door. There was a few of those. I went up there. Uh, there was the one directly beneath us, which I think is where I'm meant to go. So of course in true Claw fashion, I am going to ignore that and keep climbing upwards. I got shell too. I can't remember who's using the shell. Okay, looks like I am going through this door. That's a wisp, it looks like. I don't want to find two monks and a wisp. It's a monster I don't know. Oh, I didn't drown. That's good. Not drowning is my favourite thing to do. I don't like water. Pharaoh, save me! Ha, huh, I can't seem to get up. Let's see if I can get past here. Ooh, chest. Oh, we have the ability to double jump! Nice! Double jump birds! Okay, so in commiseration of this double jump boost, I think that we are going to fight these things. Yeah! With the A team. Channel. Power. <laughs> these things start with a banner barrier, it seems. And they also cause... chill. <laughs> Everything is chilled. Chill out. It's all I can think about now. But yeah, uh, it's... We have, I think, hit the next, basically, unlock of the game. Seeing that I now have the ability to double jump. <laughs> But yes, I think I should call this episode for here. It's a slightly shorter one, but it's because I know the Blue Caves are a very long dungeon. Uh, so, so long, in fact, that I know for a fact that I would not be able to do all of it in recording. And we have just got... We've nearly gone to over an hour of recording now. But as I finish off this fight, I'd like to thank you all for coming to join me today. And... Again, any names, suggestions, or comments that you have in general, please let me know. I'd love to hear them. Five stars and a frosty egg. Uh, but yeah, until next time, uh, it's been Dean. It's lovely to see you all. Think of a name for Frosty, because I'm not. I am hatching him next time. And see you next time. Bye.